Welcome in my math party people. Anderson here, your math coach. And what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna be taking a look at adding and subtracting integers, positives and negatives. Because we wanna make sure we know how to do this because at the end of the day, integers, they're just numbers. Positives, negatives, just like decimals and fractions and percents. So we wanna make sure we know how to handle them appropriately. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over a smaller addition and subtraction with integers. Then we'll move forward into bigger uh, operations here. But the thing is, remember that the rules are there to follow. Once you get used to these rules, you're gonna have a really good time You're really getting this done. So let's go ahead and get started here. So first off, here's what we have. Number one, we have negative 10 plus negative two. Now, another way to look at this, another way to read this is negative 10. And if you're adding a negative, that's the same thing as subtracting. So it's negative 10 minus two. Here's the thing, my party people. The way you wanna look at this is you're saying, hey, we have a negative 10 and we're adding two more negatives. Or you can also look at it as, hey, we're already at negative 10 and we're taking away two more. So if you're back 10 and you take away two more, you are back a total of 12. You're back a total of 12. So again, if you're already negative and you're subtracting, that means that you're getting more negative. So the rule in this case would just be add the numbers and keep it negative. Because again, already negative, making it more negative. So let's go ahead and take a look at you know, number two. This one's pretty straightforward, six minus one. I think we all can agree that's gonna be five, so not much work to be done there. Now let's take a look at number three here. Hey, hey, before we get to crushing this problem, just wanted to remind you about my ASVAB All Access program. So if you have test anxiety, if you blank out on work problems, if you're frustrated and can't keep a solid study schedule, then this program is there to support you. Long story short, you're gonna be able to text me whenever you need help. You get all of the classes and the recordings so you can work around your schedule whenever you need to. On top of that, you're gonna get access to over 2,000 practice problems that let you learn from every mistake by watching video solutions to those math questions. Not like a textbook where you have to figure it out on your own. On top of that, there are way more features like practice tests, study guides, flashcard sets, all that good stuff. So go ahead, either text me or check out the link either somewhere here in this video or in the description that way, you can keep raising your score and get the job you want, because that's what you're here for at the end of the day. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Check out the All Access program and sign up, and then keep going, watching this video so you can keep crushing it. I'll see you there. Negative six minus negative eight. Here's a rule that a lot of people really get hung up on and get confused on. We're subtracting a negative. My party people, remember, when you have a double negative, subtracting a negative right there. When you have a double negative, what you're doing is you're actually adding. Think about it. A double negative is a positive. A double negative is a positive. And so what we have here, this is negative six plus eight. That's what this is. Negative six plus eight. So whenever you have a positive number and a negative number being added or a positive and then subtracting a number, what you're doing is you're taking the difference. Okay. So let's take a look at this rule here. So again, if you're taking a look at negative six plus eight, really what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna subtract the two numbers, take the difference. How far away are six and eight? Well, that's gonna be two. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep the sign of the bigger number. The eight is the bigger number, so it'll stay positive two. So here's, again, when you are negative and then you're subtracting, that means you're getting more negative. If you're positive and you're adding, you're getting more positive. So in those cases, when you're adding two numbers that are negative or adding two numbers that are positive, you're just gonna add the numbers and then keep the sign. But when the signs are different, here, like you have a negative six plus eight, what you're doing is you're taking a difference. So here what you have is negative six plus eight. So eight minus six is two, and you're gonna keep it positive two because you have a bigger positive with a smaller negative. So let's keep looking at examples to really see what I'm saying here. So number four, here we have negative seven minus negative five. Just remember that a double negative is a positive. So this turns into negative seven plus five. So this is gonna follow that same rule from earlier. You have a negative number plus a positive number. You have opposite signs. So what you'll do is just take the difference because think about it. The negative seven is going to the left, the positive five is going to the right. So there's gonna be cancellation because they're pulling in opposite directions. And so they're gonna cancel. 
And so what you're going to do is take the difference. You have yourself here, 7 and 5, the difference is 2. And what's it going to be? It's going to be a negative 2 because the 7 is the bigger number, and that's the negative number. Okay? Let's keep practicing here. We're going to do a couple more here, then we're going to move forward into bigger and badder numbers. So number 5, we have negative 1 plus negative 9. Well, think about it. They're both already negative, right? You have two negatives being added together. So you're getting more negative. So 1 plus 9 is 10, but you're going to make it negative 10 because, again, these are both negative and they're being added together. In the same way that if you had two positives added together, it'd get more positive. So there it is. Let's take a look at number 6. So we have 9 plus negative 9. So remember this, my party people. If you're adding a negative, that's the same thing as subtraction. So 9 plus negative 9, that's the same thing as saying 9 minus 9. 9 minus 9, I think we can all agree, is 0. And if you want to take a look at it the other way, really, it still works out just the same. You have a positive 9 plus a negative 9. What did I teach you? Take the difference. You have one of them positive, one of them being negative, and you're adding them. Well, 9 minus 9, that's going to be 0. What sign do we keep? doesn't matter. It's 0, so you're good anyway. And so you'll get 0 here. Next up, number 7. We have negative 5 plus negative 11. So again, the other way to look at this is going to be negative 5 minus 11. But either way, what you're looking at is a negative number that's getting more negative. So you're just going to add the 5 and the 11 together and make it 16. And you're going to keep it negative because you are both going in the negative direction. They're both going in the negative direction. And so that's negative 16. Number 8, negative 12 plus 7. So here we have an example of you have a negative plus a positive. What you'll do is you'll take the difference because you have opposite signs being added together. Again, when you have the same signs being added, well, you're just going to go and add them and keep the sign. When you have opposite signs being added, you take the difference and you keep the sign of the bigger number. The bigger number is 12 here. The bigger number is 12, so you know your answer is going to be negative. 12 minus 7 is 5. So again, I'm telling you, look, dealing with negatives is not that crazy. You just need to make sure you know the rules and you practice those rules consistently through and through. Let's take a look at number 9 here. Negative 1 minus negative 7. Whenever, again, you have a minus negative, just go ahead and turn that into a positive. A double negative is a positive. So we have negative 1 plus 7. And so what's going on here is you have, well, hey, negative and a positive being added. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the difference and keep the sign of the bigger number. In this case, the 7 is the bigger number, so that's going to be a positive result. So 7 minus 1 is 6, and so your answer is positive 6, just like that. Now, the other way to think about this that's really cool, too, is look at this idea here. The idea is that 1 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 1, right? 1 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 1. So negative 1 plus 7 is the same as 7 minus 1. Bring that sign with you. Bring the entire number with you. And so that's another way you can look at it. Negative 1 plus 7 is the same as 7 minus 1, and we know that's going to be 6. Let's take a look at another example here, number 10. Then we're going to look at bigger examples coming up. Negative 3 plus 11. So remember, two ways to really look at this. You have a negative plus a positive, opposite signs, so just subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. So once we do that here, oh, give me one moment there. Just got to give it one moment. But here, you have a negative 3 plus an 11. So you can think about this as, again, you can think about this as a negative plus a positive. So take the difference, which is 8. And since the 11 is the bigger number, it'll just stay positive 8. Or you can think of it like this. You can think of it as, hey, 11 minus 3. You can just switch it over. Because again, addition, if you're adding, 1 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 1. So you can think of it as, instead of negative 3 plus 11, you can think of it as 11 plus negative 3, which is the same thing as saying 11 minus 3, and that is 8. So my party people, again, I'm telling you, this is a lot of fun once you know the rules. Let's take a look at some other problems here that are bigger and badder. So scrolling on down over here, let's take a look over here at beyond number 80. Let's see how far we can go here. Let's say we have ourselves number 101. So let's say we have ourselves 22 minus 56. So remember my party people, look, 
you have a positive number minus a huge number. When you're subtracting, remember what you do is you're taking the difference. So let me just show you a brief example here of what I mean. This is gonna make things a lot easier for you. Think of it like this. Three minus two, we know that's gonna be one, right? Well, what about two minus three? Well, that's still gonna be one, but it's gonna be a negative one. Because if you look at it, well, basically you're doing this. You're gonna subtract the two numbers and keep the sign of the bigger number. Three minus two is one. The bigger number was three, so you keep it positive. Over here, what we have is, well, two minus three, Again, take the difference, which is one, you keep the sign of a bigger number. The three was bigger, and so it's negative. Remember, subtraction is all about direction. So if you're looking at 22 minus 56, everybody, what you're looking at is this. You can look at it as, hey, well, what's 56 minus 22? Take the difference. 56 minus 22, that's gonna be 34. But what will the sign be? It's gonna be negative because the 56 is the bigger number, and it was negative. If you had 56 minus 22, that would be a positive 34. But 22 minus 56 is negative 34. So remember, subtraction is just about direction and you're good. That's gonna be negative 34 right there. Let's take a look at a handful more examples and then I'm gonna call it and let you keep practicing my party people. Let's take a look at here, 103. So we have negative 87 plus negative 64. Hey, hey, learn more about how you can get all of my classes all of my practice problems with video solutions and all of my study guides, practice tests, flashcard sets. Oh, and by the way, the ability to text me whenever you need help, go ahead and learn about my ASVAB All Access program. Click the link in the description here or shoot me a text at 567-698-8867 to learn more about it. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Let's learn more and let's ace the ASVAB. You have a negative and a negative being added. You're getting more negative. So just add the numbers and keep the result negative. So again, I know my answer is gonna be negative, and so all I'm gonna do is just add 87 and 64. I can do some mental math here and say, hey, 80 plus 60, 140, plus the seven, 147, plus the four is 151. So if you've been practicing your previous videos here with um, addition and subtraction, this is gonna be much, much easier, but you have to make sure you know your basic senses of mental math with addition and subtraction to come back here and really dominate this. So let's take a look at 104 now. 22 plus negative 54. Notice how we have a positive and a negative being added together. That is the same thing as subtraction. Again, if you have a positive and a negative being added, that's the same as subtraction. Just keep the sign of the bigger number. So. 54 minus 22, what's the difference? That's gonna be, well, 32. And then from there, we keep the sign of the bigger number, which is that negative 54. So we have negative 32. Again, my party people, this is gonna be a lot of fun once you really get this down. So let's take a look at 106. 59 minus negative, what did I say? When you're subtracting a negative, that's the same thing as adding. So this is the same thing as saying 59 plus 64. So now really all you have to do is just add these together and you're good. Now remember with mental math, there's a lot of different ways you can think about it. And in my head, I can actually think of it like this. Let me make this actually 63 to make this 60. What did I just do? Let's go ahead and really review that one more time. What I did was I took one away from here to, to get, make this 63 so I could add one here to make it 60. I pretty much just took one from 64 and put it with the 59. Why did I do that? Because this makes it so much easier to look at. 60 plus 63 is 123, and that makes my life so much easier with mental math. I don't actually have to write anything down. Next up, I'll do a couple more here. So two more to go. Let's say we have 26 minus negative 33. Well, subtracting a negative is a positive. So 26 plus 33, and that's gonna give me 59, nice and easy. Then up next, 108, what do we have here? We have negative 100 minus negative 50. Okay, subtracting a negative in my head automatically, you wanna think about that as addition. And so since we have negative 100 plus 50, a negative plus a positive, you're adding opposite signs, so just take the difference and keep the sign of the bigger number. So 100 minus 50 is 50, and the 100 was the bigger number, so it's gonna be negative 50. Just like that. 
And so at the end of the day, my part of people, look, we got to make sure we understand how to deal with positives and negatives. We have to. And that's where the practice comes in. We've got to be willing to look at this practice as something that is beneficial to us and not something that's annoying or something we want to avoid. The more you avoid it, well, the more of a problem it's going to be. So with that said, my party people, I am Coach Anderson, your math man. Let's go ahead and keep moving forward. And again, if you're in the course, move forward to the next activity where you have the worksheet, then followed by the speed drills. That way you can continue solidifying your prowess here. If you have any questions, let us know. I'll see you in the next one.